attack. No act of violence will ever break our spirit or diminish the faith of the American people. Words of comfort, support, and hope tonight from Vice President Mike Pence after the worst mass shooting ever in Texas. Thank you for joining us here at 10 o'clock. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. I'm Doug Dunbar. It's good to have you. Tonight's community prayer service was in Floresville, where 26 people died at the hands of a gunman who the vice president tonight called a deranged man. Our J.D. Miles getting us underway live tonight. Sutherland Springs to show us how this community, tonight especially, came together. J.D. Doug and Kaylee, since our last live report, these white wooden crosses with red hearts have appeared here outside the church around the secured area where this shooting happened, some with photos, all with names. Tonight, the Sutherland Springs community came together with the nation's second most powerful leader who offered an uplifting message. We gather tonight in the wake of an unspeakable act. Vice President Mike Pence spoke through a cold mist to a high school football stadium full of broken hearts. When one part of America hurts, we all hurt. When one part of America struggles, we all struggle. And when one part of America cries out for help, we come together. This vigil gave a tiny community decimated by Sunday's massacre a chance to hear words of comfort from the nation's leaders. We will never leave your side. Earlier, the vice president posted photos of his meeting with the wounded at a military hospital. He then traveled to Sutherland Springs, where he gazed upon the bullet riddled church, promising to find out why the shooter's military criminal history did not show up on his gun background check. We will find out why this information was not properly reported in 2012. And we will work with leaders in Congress to ensure that this never happens again. Pence later met with the two men who helped stop the rampage, one of them exchanging gunfire with the shooter. He also praised the heroes inside the church. And mostly, we find hope in a community of faith. In the courage of a mother, Joanne Ward, who shielded her children with her own body. And in death, saved her five-year-old son and nine-year-old daughter. To her last moment, living out the truth that no greater love has won than this, and then they should lay down their life. Mm. Here is a photo of that mother, Joanne Ward, who died, as Vice President Pence said, so valiantly trying to save her three children. Of course, one of them right next to her, Brooke Ward, did not survive. This new memorial is such a striking reminder of just how many people died. And keep in mind, there are almost just as many injured. Live in Sutherland Springs tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. And those injured in our thoughts tonight, J.D., thank you. There were some